All right, Amanda, I promised you a video. Here it is. The place is a mess at the moment. It's Saturday morning, and we had rain last night, and I haven't been able to get out here and do anything. That's my sage, rosemary. I took cuttings and stuck them in glass, and, and uh, that's, uh, that's grass. <laughs> Deal. This is my, me and John's uh, uh, chamomile. Sorry, I'm thinking about other things. There's my basil right there, still in small things. Um, that's German, uh, German, I can't remember how to call it, German something other. All right, over here, I got some beets. I got some pepper plants. This is supposed to be my Swiss chard. It's not doing too well. That's my kale. And then that's my lettuce right there. Let's go up here. Okay, here are my tomato plants. Uh, compared to Alabama, they're pretty small, but compared to here, they're really healthy and strong and, and an appropriate size. Uh, oh, something new. Henry will like this. I got this plant down here at the bottom and a big, long string going 20 feet up. I'll get close and I'll see if y'all can guess what it is. Let's see here. My apple tree. It's got some apples on it. Here's my corn. Now this is plain old grind up corn, not sweet corn or anything like that. Uh, it didn't come up as well as I wanted to. You see, I got some empty spots here. Now we put this straw down afterwards and you see I got grass poking up through the straw. That means we're gonna still end up picking up, uh, uh, picking grass. And look at there, there's my little squashes. There's my some little squashes, more squash plants. Uh, here's my garlic. Very tall garlic, isn't it? Oh, by the way, turn behind me. Uh, let's see, this apple tree has a few apples on it too. Yeah, there's a better looking specimen. And then here are some apples. These, these always take a beating from bugs. Um, and I'm getting scapes, so that's what Deb was hollering about. Okay, over here, again, another apple tree, got little apples on it. Deb's over here picking some strawberries. Tiny. Yeah, still tasty. Uh, my cherry, still no cherries. I'm going to have to cut that limb off, it's dead. I don't have anything on this tree either. It's a cherry tree as well. I'm doing something. I'm going to have to change the soil on the cherry trees. Oh, here's my spinach. It's doing really well. Time to start picking and eating that. Here's a plum tree. Look at the little plums. It's actually a plulite. And some girls coming in and out of the hive. And this, I don't see any fruit on this tree either. It's a, um... We've got the pears. The pears are coming out good. They all, they've done well since the day I planted yeah, them. These are supposed to be plums too. And over here are my peaches. You can see here, they had a bite on it and it's, oozing out stuff. We gotta get some nim oil on it. And there's a hive starting to work this morning. I've got over here my grape vines. As you can see here there's itty bitty grapes coming up on them. Yep. Somebody's been eating 
And then let's come over here and look at the other peach tree. Same thing. Little bit of peaches in there. be high. They should all be out working right now. Okay, well that's about it. Oh, mom well, probably interested in this over here if mom sees this. As y'all can y'all can tell what this is. And uh, you can see here I got lots of blackberries coming up on that. Yeah, and I'll trim them back when when we uh, get through having a crop of it. All right, that's about it.